Hi, I'm Kate, and it's Halloween, if you can tell by um, my crazy face. What costume is this, you may ask? I have no idea. I'm terrible at Halloween, which we're going to get into in a minute, but the best I can think of is that this is like some kind of Bowie's in space, Flight of the Concords tribute. I don't know. We'll go with that. So Halloween and I have a storied history, I suppose. I've been to... Halloween parties in the past, but most of them for, have been kind of lackluster, so I don't really do Halloween anymore. I'm also a huge baby, so the last three costumes I can remember wearing to Halloween parties were Amelia Earhart, Jem from Jem and the Holograms, and Scully from the X-Files, which is easily the creepiest Halloween costume that I've ever worn. Generally on Halloween, people like to partake of creepy stuff. The maintenance guy at my apartment this morning when I went downstairs to let Frodo out, was covered in blood, and I like swore at the top of my lungs when I saw him because I am a complete and total 100% mega earth baby. I can't play creepy video games, and my definition of creepy video games extends way beyond the logical span. Probably the most famous incident with me finding a game creepy was when I was playing Fallout 3 and I entered a building and the cannibals had hung pieces of people's corpses from the ceiling. And I was like, nope, 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 nope. Now, when people play video games around me that are creepy, I count that as having played the game myself because I'm so incredibly terrified of them. And just watching people play games gives me nightmares. The first time I saw somebody play Left 4 Dead, the first one, uh, I had nightmares for three days. So it's not a good scene for me. I'm aware of it. I'm comfortable with it. Recently, my good friend Nika decided to be the worst friend and we've been streaming some horror games off and on. We did Damned, which was really fun, and Five Nights at Freddy's, which was horrifying. I am as I may have mentioned before, like a, a rare mineral quality of a giant baby. So, I figure, oh, surely I can't be alone. There must be other giant mega super babies out there just like me. So for the other 11 of you, I have compiled a list of video games that you may play on Halloween while embracing the Halloween spirit without scaring the living bejesus out of yourself. Number one Halloween game for giant babies is Don't Starve. Don't Starve looks pretty spooky when you're first looking at it. It's got this Edward Gorey aesthetic and it's got some like creepy uh, minor key kind of musical cues and things like that within it. There's bunnies in it, so how scary are you going to be, right? As the, the name of the game implies strongly, you don't want to starve and one of the ways that you can die aside from starving is to be eaten by horrible spider monsters, or chomped to death by a huge bird. Even I could stand to do the 29 days, which took hours. Um, and as I've mentioned, I am a bigger baby than anyone watching. Number two Halloween game for giant babies would be Costume Quest series. Costume Quest is all about kids trick-or-treating on Halloween, wearing their costumes and their costumes, transforming them into giant fighting avatars of themselves so that they may battle the ne'er-do-wells around the universe. It's adorable, it's by Double Fine, so it's also hilarious. I find these games really charming. Number three Halloween game for giant babies is Gone Home. Here's why. Gone Home is the closest I can get to survival horror. I couldn't even do Dear Esther, and it's kind of the same thing, but Gone Home is a creepy-ish experience. Creepy, it's a creepy adjacent experience because you're going through someone's house. Um, you don't know why you're there. It's storming outside. You're alone. It's a big house. There's lots of stuff around. I can safely say that there is nothing that comes out and tries to kill you uh, throughout the entire game. This is just a story exploration, sort of using interaction as a mechanism to discover this world. Highly, highly recommend this one, whether or not you are a giant baby. I recommend them all, whether or not you're a giant baby. <laughs> I don't think the giant baby was their demographic because it's not super profitable. So these are just wonderful Halloween games. And if you happen to be a wiener, puss like me, please enjoy them. I will be streaming some amnesia. I don't know why I do this to myself. But it should be fun. I'll probably stream for about an hour once it gets dark here on the West Coast. So make sure you're watching my Twitter at Show 
for information about that because I am probably going to pee my pants. And if you want to donate to the Fresh Pants Fund, you can go to patreon.com slash Kate and I'll use that money to buy some new pants after I pee them. Happy Halloween. Stay safe. Have fun. And remember, it's just fucking video games. And I have a space face. I feel like it feels like that brand that the Sar Saruman's army, the white hand, give the Uruks and the Orcs in Lord of the Rings. But like if Saruman were played by David Bowie.